and The Undertaker. One of these two men will meet mankind in the finals of the Deadly Game Tournament to determine a new champ. Well, I think that Mr. McMahon could probably deal one way or the other with The Undertaker if he were a champion. I think he probably feels like he could negotiate with him. Yeah, because McMahon has a lot in common with Paul Bear. Same kind of ethics. Now he knows he can deal with mankind as the champion. Well, that's obvious, King. Now he's just counting that The Undertaker should be able to put The Rock away. Mankind's been relegated to no more than village idiot here from the manipulations of Mr. McMahon. And you can't blame Mick Foley for it. Oh, man! What impact from that suplex! And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks! Watch out! He hits the high-risk move! I mean, that's how you pick your moment and go for it! Oh, what kind of celebration do you think is going on in Mr. McMahon's limousine right now? Do you think they popped the cork on a cold one? I mean, it's got to be party time. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's very jubilant. <laughs> and when the word comes, you know they've got telephones in Mr. McMahon's limousine. They'll phone him with the results. Oh, they call him collect. He's got that in deep. I can smell what he did. And the rock nails the spine buster.